so you describe yourself, the company describes itself as the first space-based cellular broadband network. I mean, we've been talking about these low Earth orbit satellite constellations focused on broadband. How is yours different? Well, this is, this is the first and only one that, that provides direct connectivity to handsets, to the regular handset that you had in your pocket, and without requiring any special hardware, software, app. All what you need is your phone and, uh, and, uh, and a telco that had a partnership with us. Yeah, and I know you have Vodafone and Rakuten um, as investors, as, as customers, uh, and with, with board seats as well. Uh, but I'm curious, I, I mean, you're pretty early in, in many ways still in this process. You've got one satellite uh, on orbit right now. It's a test satellite. You're putting a second one up, or expected to put a second one up later this year, and you're then, then your first 20 uh, in the second half of 2022 for commercial operations to begin in 2023. In, in terms of that timeline, uh, a lot needs to happen to get there. Why should investors invest with you and, and bet on this company now? Well, I mean, listen, it's a long-term opportunity. I mean, there's a very large uh, addressable market. There's 5 billion phones uh, that move in and out of connectivity every day uh, as people move uh, at air, land, and sea into places where there is no connectivity. And also an opportunity that we tend to forget here in the United States. Half of the world population do not have internet on their phone. So that's the opportunity that we tap. We, we, we tap it with proprietary technology. We have over 1,000 patent claims uh, to allow this technology to happen. We make this right here in America. We manufacture our satellites in Midland, Texas. So it's an opportunity for the long term, but it's a very, very large opportunity in a very large addressable market. Who will launch those satellites for you? Well, we have plenty of, of partners. Uh, 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 we are in discussion with all the primary launch providers. Uh, we design our satellites to be multi-launch, multi-provider, and, um, and, and we will be disclosing our next partners uh, soon. Well, who do you see as your chief competitors then, to Morgan's initial question? Is it the Starlinks of the world, or is it more the existing competition, of course, amongst the major nationwide wireless providers? Well, something that I always want to clarify, we partner with the wireless providers. We, we extend their coverage. We, we help them to basically be able to provide connectivity everywhere at air, land, and sea. Uh, to standard smartphones at a broadband speed. So we are partners. We stand with we stand their networks uh, on a global basis. Um, we don't see the other satellite LEO constellations like Starlink as a competitor. Actually, we think that it's a great thing that they are happening uh, as they lower the cost of launch and they make space more affordable, uh, basically, to the masses. So I always want to explain it. This is a cellular system. All the other systems are more equivalent to a Wi-Fi system, what, similar to what you get at home, where you get a Wi-Fi connection or a fiber connection. That is what those systems are. Our system is your cellular plan, simply that works everywhere in the planet. Yeah. Uh, I, I am curious, though. Space is hard. Timelines do tend to slip. Uh, I realize you've just raised some money through this deal here today. Do you have enough cash on the books? Heaven forbid uh, things don't happen on the timeline you've laid out. Yeah, well, listen, we, we have been in this for a while. The, 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 the money that we have raised is enough to launch our first 20 satellites. That gives us an opportunity to cover 1.6 billion people in uh, 49 countries. We already announced together with Vodafone, which is also an investor and one of the largest telcos on the planet with 640 million subscribers in a global basis. So, so yes, we think that we are fully funded uh, to do the first phase and to launch the first phase of the program. All right. Abel, thanks for joining us today. And uh, we look forward to, I guess, speaking to you as more of these satellites uh, get launched to orbit. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.